Hey everyone and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. On this video, we're doing the Stranger Mission, a fine night for it. Um, I was originally planning to do this Stranger Mission right here, um, but that's not the one we're doing. This one takes place just a little north of Le Gras, and it only occurs at night. So we'll be heading over there to, to bust that out. But also on this video, I'm planning to get some more compendium progress done so got a large chunk done on the last video we are now 399 of 553 still a long way to go but we're going to be chipping away at that every video until it's finally done um, and then in addition to that i'm also planning to do at least two challenges on this video so going to get a lot done here so i'm thinking we will start with hopefully some compendium progress. There are two types of birds that can appear in this area right here that I need, so let's head over there and see if I can get at least one of them. Hello, girl. Also, I'm not positive on this, but I think there is the chance that a herring gull could appear at the water's edge here, and if it does, that is one of the birds that I need. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for that and try not to drown my horse. Let's see, are you friendly? Go on. I don't need your type of my damn. Of course you're not friendly. They're never friendly. Mallard duck there. And a common loon. Is this guy in the mood for company right now, partner? Well, too bad you're getting thought to me. Making my life a misery day and night. All those years chasing her. Well, she didn't want nothing to do with me. Then she finally says yes. <laughs> What a mistake that was! Should have never rushed to get that ring on your finger, Lily Mae! Never known a more evil woman! It's woman problems, right? Might be better you spoke to the lady. You know, you remind me of a fella I talked to years ago. I was slinging these pebbles then, too. Feller told me to be a good man and the wife come. Bastard ruined my life. Listen, partner. I'm hardly one to give marriage advice, but it's better if you stick to it. <sighs> Can't make things worse, I suppose. See you, mister. Well, Arthur tried, buddy. It's not his fault you made the wrong decision. He just gave you advice. Alright, well, anyways. Hopefully, those birds are gonna be there for us. And what bird is that? That's a pecking duck. That's an, Oh, that's the same one. Alright, let me get the binoculars out, because that's what I'm gonna need. Okay, so let's see if we can spot either of those birds that we want.
Oh, and there it is. Perfect. That'd be a band-tailed pigeon. There's another pigeon. Oh, and there's the other one I need. That is amazing. I just got both of them. All right, now I need to shoot both. Get him, and then his friend. What? Don't you dare get away. Okay, good. Well, that is awesome, because these can be kind of difficult to get. All right, so band-tailed pigeon is done. Band-tailed pigeons can be found in the damp forest of West Elizabeth. Their omnivorous diet includes berries, grains, fruits, shrubs, pine nuts, and insects. An effective way to kill or wound a pigeon is with a bow with small game arrows. Their feathers can be used for crafting, and their carcasses can be sold. And then over here, the rock pigeon. Rock pigeons can be found in a variety of habitats across the states. As omnivores, their diet consists of berries, fruits, grains, earthworms, and seeds. These small birds can be wounded or killed easily by a bow with small game arrows. Pigeon carcasses can be sold to traders, and their feathers can be used for crafting. Alrighty. Well, that turned out way better than I expected. Let's head over to the trapper now. You okay, girl? And we'll turn in this bison pelt. Trapper is just up there. Okay, here's our trapper friend. to see you again sir I will sell let's take a look at it perfect bison pelt. Make something pretty with that all right so now I'm gonna hopefully finish a challenge we're gonna go down here there's almost always an opossum and our challenge is to kill an opossum while it's playing possum which means it's playing dead should be able to pick this up. What the heck noise is that? Oh, there's an opossum right there. And he's playing dead. Well, that was convenient. Uh, I may as well kill him with a varmint rifle because that's what I need for a potential perfect pelt. And there we go, Master Hunter 9 is complete. Master Hunter 10 unlocked, find and kill the legendary panther, Giaguaro. And we'll be doing that on this video. All right, so, um, let's just head to the house. I still need to, um, I still need to study Rufus, the family dog, and then we can just fast travel over to Legras. Looking for this. Where'd he go? No, he better be around here. Ah, oh, crap. Did I lose him? I've been looking for this guy. You 
Well, I am sad now. I'm so confused. This is his horse. I think. Where is the dude? Well, let's see. Maybe he's around? Well, oh, crap. What happened? Anyways, I've been looking for this guy because we need him for a challenge. Oh wait, there he is. Well, let me see if I can talk to him. Well, I'm pretty sure this is the guy. I'm gonna actually lasso him. So he was talking about a treasure map. Which means he probably has a treasure map. Jesus H. Christ. Sorry, buddy. Now hold still, mister. Hopefully I'm not too late. Why are you getting on my hump? Lord, save me! Are you soft in the head or something? Is it okay if I rob you? Oh, my saints! Well, crap. I reckon I had my fill of you. <laughs> I don't know how I screwed this up. But anyways, he doesn't have it. So, got him free. Must missed him somehow. Well, that sucks. I don't know. I know that if you miss that particular event multiple times, then you can just end up buying the treasure map. But I don't know how many times that would have to be. I'm probably just going to have to find him again. But I got to him too late. I don't know. The whole thing's weird right now. Weird and unfortunate. I could have got that treasure map. What's the fuss, old girl? Oh well. All right, what's the fastest way? I think I just want to follow the trail. And as far as I know, there's nothing out here that I need for compendium or anything like that. So just heading home. Is it taking me? Oh, okay. Just wrap it around here. All right, makes sense. Oh, I also need to remember that uh, I need a gray squirrel. American gray squirrel, I think it is. Either way, I see a gray squirrel. I need to kill it and pick it up. Anything with a cougar? I don't think so. I'm just gonna kill it. Actually, I might need I might need a cougar skin, so let's make sure we get a good kill on this. Hey, hey, hey! Rachel! Oh my god, Rachel, you're gonna get me killed. Thanks, Rachel. Hey, three star cougar. Had that cougar attacked me instead of walked away, I might be dead. But luckily it didn't. And I got a perfect cougar pelt. So that's pretty sweet. These cougar pelts aren't exactly easy to come by. All right, so hopefully Rufus is near the house. Blow it. Rufus, where 
Rufus, you around? I hope so. I heard Abigail. You killed something, John? How's your back? Giving me terrible pain. I'm lucky I wasn't smoked through. Yeah, you'll recover. And real quick, I bet. Okay, well, I'll leave you to it then. All right, John. That dang Rufus, where is he? There he is. Hey, Rufus. The Marston family dog and Jack's best friend. All right. May as well talk to Jack while I'm here. Hey, Jack, what are you doing? So, we finally made this family honest, son. That's, uh, great, Pa. Really? I was glad you were there for it. We're a family. It's how it should be. I'll see you around. All right, sir. Okay. Time to fast travel out of here. Okay, we are going to Lagra. Alright, here we are. Unfortunately, it's daytime. But, since it's daytime, I can try something else. So, another thing I need for my compendium. I just completely hit the wrong button. Um, another thing I need for my compendium is a Carolina parakeet. And I believe you can find those in this general area. So, let's take a quick look, see if we can find one. And then we'll camp out until nighttime. Relax. Yes. What's it freaking out about? Oh, is that a bear? Yep, that's a black bear. It's all right. Been through it, ain't we? I'm looking for a parakeet, but I'm not finding anything. Sometimes you'll find little birds on the fence posts here, but with these people on horseback nearby, it's probably not going to happen. And yeah, sure enough, I'm not seeing anything. I'll do a quick check over here, and then I'm giving up on it. And perhaps we'll try some other time. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I'm giving up. Let's just get a little bit closer to LeGras and then we'll uh, camp out. That should be good enough. Okay, camp out. Okay, sleep until night. Okay, it should be ready for us. 
Just need to... Oh, well, there it is. Perfect. Just head north. What's the commotion? You a loon or something? This night folk country. Night folk? I can handle myself. <laughs> okay. Maybe you should clear out, though, if you're so troubled by things in the night. It's night folk. And I would, it's just being on my property. Hey, w would you help me uh, get them off? Well, I, I pay you for your troubles. Sure, I'll help. Pay me, huh? Maybe. Show me where this place is. We'll see. All right. Let's go. Hey, it's just over there. You good man, partner. <laughs> Them night folk would put me on a pipe. They got their paws on me. Hang me up on a hardwood hammock. Boy, I'm lucky I ain't dead as it is. Night folk. Ooh, they bad people. Bad folk. Animals, a lot of them. You know, I ain't never heard no night folk speak. There's not been one peep out of no night folk. Not that I ain't heard it, at least. Imagine not uttering a sound. Can you fathom that? Mm -mm. What kind of evil don't make no sound? It's bad, all right. Bad. I mean, I don't meet many folk out here on my own, the most part. But I still speak, you know? I talk to myself, ain't no one else around. Chew my own goddamn ear off. I can imagine. Now, used to be the gators was the worst thing in the bayou. Gators and snakes. I've been snake bit more times I like to remember. Ain't been gator bit, though. Got that to be thankful for, at least. Gator bites is nasty. Mm. Then turtle bites is bad, too. They call them snapping for a reason. I've been known to snap, too. So, how about we keep it down? Oh, yes, partner. Yep. Uh-huh. That's probably best. Hey! Damn bats. Don't you worry about no bats. I'll tell you when you got to worry, all right. Well, this is certainly a creepy area. Where are you taking me, dude? Oh, hell. Look at that. He fresh. See what I mean? This night folk work. I knew this fella. Good fella. Didn't deserve this. Now come on. More damn bats. Slow down. Hey, hey. Poor fella on a tree been here for years. You think it's bad being a dead fella on a tree? It's worse when you're a live one with a stick through you. Lamps out. They might not speak, but they sure can see. Now, look out here, there's gators. What a place to make your home. It's nice, ain't it? Well, there's a gator right there. Let's 
It's like he's taken off. So is he. Here we go. Up there. Night folk up to all sorts. You go deal with them. I'll be here with my rat gun. Okay. Do what you can. Oh, they got someone. Ooh, poor fella. All right, let's take care of these guys. Got a freaking gator right there. All right, well, we're not messing with him. Hi. You really don't see me. All right. Easy enough. They're not so scary. Boy, oh boy, that's gotta be more of them. Uh, stay here. I don't like this. Not at all. Oh no, more. You stay away, buddy. So creepy the way they just casually walk up. That's gotta be an apple. Okay, they're dead. Well, well. Okay, I got something for you now. How you doing? Give me a moment. What? The heck is it? Here you go, partner. <sighs> what is this? Swamp trash? No, that's some of the good stuff right there. You good man, mister. Damn decent. You gonna be all right here? I'll be fine. Night folk won't come here anymore. They dumb. But they ain't stupid. So long, man. Alright. Our stranger mission is complete. Wow, this guy's alive? Huh. Well, alright. Get out of here, buddy. You're free. I thought they killed you. <laughs> just casually walks away. Mister? Air tastes different out here, don't it? Okay. Anyways, our stranger mission is complete. Let's take a look at the map. We're going to work on the compendium some more. Let's go down to this farm. They have a bull that I need. Oh, is that an American bullfrog? That is an American bullfrog. I need this. Oh, really? Hit him in the toe. All right, I just need to pick him up, and that'll complete the compendium for them. Good. Should be 100%. And it is. Rachel, where are you? All right, there you are. Let's get out of here. Before more of those night folk show up. Oh, God! Like, stepped on alligator. Hey, pay more attention.
Oh, there's another thing I need to do, which is still shocking to me. I need to pluck an eastern turkey vulture. And I believe that they fly through here. Anyways, if I think I see one, I will check it out. Alright, bull should be in here. Is that him? Looks like a bull to me. Yep. That is a Hereford bull. It's actually not the one I was expecting, but I need that too, apparently. The Hereford bull can be found at ranches across the states. It is an herbivore living on grains, hay, and corn. The average size of a bull can mean that they are harder to kill. Using a bow with improved arrows or a powerful rifle will increase your chances when hunting. Its meat can be eaten and its horns are useful for crafting with. And I also need a lake horn rooster if I happen to see one. That would be great. But I don't see one. Good girl. Let's go. All right. Uh, let's head into town. There's sometimes a dog in this area, and sometimes that dog is a mutt, which is a breed we have not studied. I guess mutt really isn't a breed. It's kind of just a whole conglomeration of breeds, but whatever. Okay, typically the dogs hang out around here. There's a dog right here. What is he? It's a, it's a mangy dog. It's a mangy bloodhound. Well, that doesn't help me. Alright, so no mutt. I'll have to find a mutt elsewhere. Okay, uh, let's go to the fence. We can buy some weapons there for compendium updates. And I got some chickens here. Any chickens I need? Well, it's hard to tell with John refusing to target them. Yeah, well, anyway. Lakehorn chicken, but not a rooster. Well. Yep, I don't see anything. Let's go say hi to the fence. Oh, wait until morning. Found me. Hello. Alrighty, we are going to buy. And we're gonna buy a hatchet. A hatchet can be swung or thrown for a silent takedown. Mm. Okay, compendium update there. A basic hand axe with a wedge steel blade and long wooden handle. Designed for chopping wood, this powerful one-handed weapon can be swung to deliver a large amount of damage to an opponent. In a pinch, it can also be thrown at a target to take them down from a distance. Okay, and let's also go ahead and buy a cleaver. 
A cleaver for chopping through flesh, up close or at range. I just hope nobody's missing it. A wide bladed axe with a short ridged wooden handle. This hunting and cooking tool is usually used to prepare animal carcasses and chop through thick meat, cartilage, and bone. As you can imagine, these properties also make for an effective combat weapon, and it can also be thrown. Yes. Alright, so that's all we need at the fence. Let's head over to the gun seller now. He's got two weapons I want to pick up. One more time. Come on. It is not so bad. The women are very pretty. Not as pretty as back home. Porca miseria. See this one? These guys. Anche i poveracci sono re. What? Huh? Antagonize. I don't like the way you look. There. I said it. Riposa in pace. They're so prickly. Ooh, got me good there. Hey. This is easy. Block his friend, punch him. I like it. Man, these guys are good. Pay attention. Would this place be like without Martelli's thugs roaming the streets, I wonder? Alright, we are taking their valuables. Gold wedding ring. And also three dollars and thirty-three cents. And don't forget to pick up my hat that they so rudely knocked off my head. What the heck, Rachel? Get back here! Okay, let's head to the gunsmith. Just one thing. Here we are. Oh wait, this isn't it. Uh, right here. Welcome, sir. Come in and have a browse. Now let me see. Okay, first thing we're gonna buy is a pistol. That would be the Mauser pistol. Uh, so let's go ahead and read it. Molberg Mauser pistol. pistol right there. $225. Quality manufacturing by Molberg in Germany. The finest self-loading automatic pistol. Ingenuity and design bring you this self-loading automatic pistol. Imagine the folly of the man who fumbles around with a cartridge or wad of powder when attempting to save his skin. When he could have purchased this Mauser pistol from Molberg and dealt with the matter at hand. Pity the craftsman who spends hours over a hot fire with melting ladles full of lead, dulling his senses as he inhales lead fumes and goes about worrying over bullet molds and cardboard wads, measuring grains on an apothecary scale and risking explosion or maiming by careless handling of smokeless or nitro powder. Isn't it simpler by nature to order the Mauser pistol from Mulberg and boxes of centerfire and sporting cartridges preloaded with black powder? Famous Broom Handle Mauser. The Mulberg Company initially designed the Mauser with a grip that resembled a broom I'm handle. I'm here to help if you need me. This is so that it would feel familiar in the hands of a woman who is not only required to keep the domicile clean, but to birth the children and defend them from harm when her husband, uh, husband is away for months at a time, attending to business and otherwise. 
It must also be stated that the broom handle design is quite useful in that it gives you a strong grip should you run out of ammunition and be in close enough quarters that the gun can be used to crack against a person's skull with pleasing results. Many on the battlefield or parlor have found this function to be of great benefit. Something cheaper, but I'm sure things will turn around. A powerful deterrent to meddling. A man grows bold when he knows you only have one shot and a weapon. Even if your aim is true, the likelihood is he can reach you despite being wounded and will most likely put a knife through your heart or open your innards to spill out to the floor. Gruesome business. However, such things must be considered in matters of life or death, and a delicate disposition can result in your untimely demise in the harsh environs of the lawless prairie or streets of western towns. It has the dandiest of design, having originated from a couple of passionate brothers in Europe who have spent their life's work fashioning ingenious ways to propel lead at high rates of speed. What our customers say. Mildred Van Meter wrote a kindly note in her recent order for more cartridges for her mouser, saying, Mr. or saying, my husband is a very resourceful man, having given me the Mauser for my protection while away. But I am still waiting. While he writes to me saying he is dreadfully homesick, I understand he has business to attend to in San Denis. I have not been, but he tells me it is a Christian place without vice, and I trust that it is so. We are often snowbound here, and I weep in recalling the incident that is the reason I write to you. I was baking some fruitcakes on Christmas morning, in the hope that by some miracle my beloved husband would return after having been away for so many months. Made up numbers to me. A knock at the door startled me. It was a man from town, having traveled many miles through snow. He proceeded to inform me that word had been received from the recent coach delivery that my husband had been involved in an altercation at some house of ill repute while cavorting with lewd women and was spending some time in jail. I took this to mean this man aimed to court me and bed me in a carnal way. I grabbed that Mauser and put, and put a bullet right between his eyes and prayed the Lord to deliver his Take soul from his lying and lecherous ways. I thank you for your service to women such as myself. Good day. All right, we're going to buy not one, but two of these. It really suits you. In case I ever want to dual wield. Alright, and that's a compendium update. A new import from Germany. The Molberg Mauser is a modern semi-automatic pistol with low damage. The rapid fire rate of this weapon, along with a large ammo capacity, make this a good choice for close combat or for close range combat or when surrounded by multiple enemies. This gun has an ammo capacity of 10 rounds and can use regular high velocity split point express and explosive pistol ammo. That's All right. Hero. And there's one more gun I want to buy from him. Let's have a look. This one is a shotgun. The repeating shotgun. Lancaster Repeating Shotgun, $166.50. Fire this gun 10,000 times and see. We are in complete confidence as to our unique ability to furnish you with the finest repeating shotgun on the market that we encourage you to take the Lancaster 10-day challenge. We are willing to send you this fine repeating shotgun on our regular terms and encourage you to ride from the highest points in the valley to quick running streams. From Sunday Market to Cottonwood Swamp, through fields and towns, and fire this gun at everything within sight. Sound or perceived slur for test. Trial and absolute comparison at least 10,000 times. If you have any reason to be dissatisfied with this experience, you can then return the gun to us at our great expense. We will at that time gratefully and cheerfully return the money you have sent us. We are absolutely convinced that you will receive a gun from us that is perfect in every respect, and so enjoy unloading it 10,000 times that you will spend countless hours alone thinking about the finish, sight, drop, range, and penetration that the very idea of this gun ever leaving your side will fill you with worry and dismay. Such is the pleasure Let of the Lancaster repeating help. shotgun. An unrivaled marvel of power. This Lancaster repeating shotgun is nationally recognized as the strongest shooter in the market. They are made on the strongest and most improved mechanical lines. 
The best materials are used as often as possible, and only skilled mechanics are used when available. There is no better marvel at target and penetration. Professional sportsmen and enthusiasts agree to the weight, power, and usefulness of this gun when capturing dinner, securing donations, or courting a maid. On Courtney Street, down here you carry a gun. It is extra strong, weighty, and compact, yet light. You will barely feel it in your hands until it goes off, and then, Lord Almighty, you will say prayers to God first and Lancaster soon after. Our special inside price. Includes everything you need to use this fine shotgun within minutes of receiving it. Recommended for indoor use in circumstances that would warrant it, whether it be for celebration or sadness. You can purchase no better shotgun on the market today than the Lancaster Repeating Shotgun. But I'm sure things will turn around. Powerfully self-satisfying will be your daily affairs when you realize how many kinds of idiot exist in the world and the service that you are performing to humankind by ending their awful and troublesome ways. Chase the sun with confidence. Reader, when you take a moment in haste to reload this gun, you will quickly take note of the beautiful, strong, compact manner at which it hangs as you put it in or as you put in more shells and quickly finish with the night's business. It is all chokeboard and never gets loose or shaky, even in, even in your later years when you become loose and shaky and forgetful of where the chamber pots are. Your aim is always true, and due to the scatter of the shot, aim is not of the greatest concern, only the determination of the deed that requires doing. Leave a man to publish shoddy memoirs by introducing him to the Lancaster repeating shotgun and placing a shot at if each shoulder. keep taking from me, I don't know how much longer I will be able to stay open. Not only will he be unable to ride a horse properly, nor roll a cigarette or hold a woman in a pleasing way, but he will recall each and every hour the folly of doubting or disturbing you. Alright, buy this thing. That's a fine firearm. Okay. That'll be another compendium update. Oh, plenty more on offer. The Lancaster Repeating Shotgun is a well-rounded gun that uses the same lever-action system commonly found on repeating rifles. The large ammo capacity gives the shooter the luxury of accuracy while maintaining the power ideal for close-quarter encounters. This gun has an ammo capacity of 6 rounds and can use regular buckshot, incendiary buckshot, slug, and explosive slug shotgun ammo. Alright, we are done here and really we're done in San Denis for now. So let's go ahead and leave and try to get some more compendium entries. Uh, let's head. Let's head down this way. Oh, and I apparently lost my Wi-Fi connection. Although I uh, don't really care. Oh, oh. Okay, so um, heading down there, there's a couple herbs I know that I have not picked up. Hopefully, uh, they're in the spot I remember. That would be oleander sage and milkweed, I think it's called. Yeah, milkweed. So those two, I don't believe I picked up either. And then I also need to track a small alligator. Uh, I need to, I believe... Pluck? Perhaps kill and pluck? I mean, you have to do it either way. But uh, I believe I have to kill and pluck a neotropic cormorant, which I may or may not run into down there. And there's also uh, a snake that I need. Copperhead something snake. So we'll make sure we pick that up as well. And I think those are the ones that swim around, so I'll check. Okay, so if I remember correctly, there's milkweed and oleander sage around here. I see the oleander sage. But I don't see any milkweed. Unless this is it. Ah, there we go. 
Okay, perfect. If we look at our herb challenge now, 26 of 43, so 17 to go. Alright, now one of these alligators should be small. It doesn't actually tell you if they are when you look at them, but it's pretty easy to determine just based on their size. These are pretty tiny. If I track him, I think we'll get it. Let's see, we want animals. And no, I uh, still have not gotten that done. Well, we can find tinier ones. Should be some tiny guys out here. Easy there. Snapping turtles. He's kind of small. Let's track him, see if he counts. Oops, not map. Let's see, progress, compendium, animals, and still no. What the heck? Oh, none of that. Okay, apparently we need smaller. It's still hard to tell. He's fairly, oh, he, there we go. He's a super Please. tiny one. All right, so he's tracked. I'm confident that he is a, Small enough one. Oh, not there. One compendium. Animals, and there we go. Perfect. Alright, now let's see if we can find a snake swimming around. I see no snake. Thought they swam around over here, but could definitely be mistaken. Also, want to keep an eye out for neotropic cormorants. And Rachel's not going to be happy about being back here. Let's go this way. Oh, wait, did I just find a snake? Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. That is not what I need. I need like a Northern Copperhead, I think. Anyways, we'll figure it out. Doesn't have to be now. And I'm sure we can find that snake in other places. All right, so let's get our final hunting challenge down or down done and it's uh it's that way and look it's the old camp shady bell Anyone here? oh and there's the Easy now. <laughs> apparently the lemoyne guys took back shady bell that's fine we don't need it you can have it You have entered legendary animal territory. Hunt this legendary animal by finding and inspecting clues. It's uh, worth noting that this legendary animal, the Guigaro Panther, only is available once you are once you are on Master Hunter uh, Challenge Tank. If you come out here any other time, nothing will pop up. All right, so I've got repeating. Oh, repeating shotgun. That could be good, actually. But let's also take the Lancaster. Alright, now, this panther is really mean. So we want to get some help here. We're going to take some potent health cure. We're going to fortify that health. 
Because if it attacks me, I could very well die. Okay. You ain't that far. Ain't that far. Yeah, we got a corpse here. You close. Close. All right, this is where we want to be careful. This thing is fast, and it is sneaky. Be ready. Oh, I see it. Ha 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 ha, take that. Not fast enough. Master Hunter 10 complete. You have unlocked new reinforced equipment at the Traverse. Sweet. I take your skin. Alright, got the legendary panther skin. Legendary panther eye. Things are good. Alright, stow that on the back. Alright, and while I'm in this area, there are actually two other types of panthers that are um, possible to encounter. I'm gonna go see if I can get one of them at least. And what's gonna make this difficult is I need to study and track said panther. And the whole study and track part could prove difficult. I think I'm gonna use some carnivore bait. Oh, yeah, it's not called carnivore bait, uh, predator bait. But we'll see. Oh, and I might not have collected these mushrooms. I think those are chanterelles? Yeah. Let's see. Check my herb challenge 26 of 43. Apparently, I had. All right, so I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I'm gonna try the predator bait. I feel like I'm in the right area. So let's just drop some here and see what happens. Oh wait, uh, I forget where they're at. They're not there. It's under weapons? No, must be under items. All right, here it is. All right, we got some predator bait. I'm trying to use it. Wait, did I just drop some? Uh, I'm not sure if I actually dropped some or not. Well, whatever, we'll drop some more. There we go. Well, that definitely worked. All right, so let's go hide over here, see what happens. Far, I see nothing. But panthers are sneaky. I don't think this is working.
This is why I don't like using these things. This is usually my experience. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. All right, so I know that Panthers can appear in here. The question is, how will I find it before it finds me? I was hoping the answer to that was predator bait. But that may not be the case. What is that? Eastern wild turkey. I need a turkey vulture, I believe. Well, crap. Okay, well, let's ride around the area. If a panther pops up, awesome. If they do not, then that sucks. Let me check the map too, make sure I'm in the right area. Yeah, they should be in this area. I, mean, I guess I could try another like in over here a bit. But I honestly don't know how much that will really help. Oh. Oh. I just found it. Ah, crap. No, I want to study. No. Ah, get off of me. Hold on, can I study it? I don't want to kill it yet. But I'm gonna have to if it comes back around. Yep, alright, I gotta kill it. Dang it! It's not what I wanted! Well... We're gonna skin it, but that really doesn't help me. It's a Florida Panther. I had a chance, but they're just so fast. I gotta track one to him. The Florida panther can be found in the remote forested wetlands of Lemoyne. As carnivores, they prey on armadillos, raccoons, or oh, armadillos. Well, apparently they are out in the desert. I've never seen one out there. As carnivores, they prey on armadillos, raccoons, white-tailed deer, feral hogs, and occasionally alligators. These temperamental cats can be killed or wounded using a rifle or a bow with poison arrows. The heart and claws from panthers can be used for crafting and their meat can be used for cooking. All right, well, that was quite unfortunate. I also got a, only a good pelt. That's also unfortunate because I need panther pelts. Guess I should have thought of that beforehand. I should have used a rifle, but I was just trying to find one. Are they at least on the map now? Yeah, you can see they have an icon on the map now. I don't think it's going to do me a whole lot of good, but... Let's go, girl. Who knows? Maybe that'll make them more common. Either way, I've only ever found one panther out here, so... We're just going to go ahead and leave, and we'll return at some point, because we have two different types of panthers that can be down here that we need to get compendium entries for. All right, so that's pretty much everything I wanted to do. Let's head back to where we were at the beginning of this video, because I'm planning to do the uh, stranger mission that's there for the next video. It's a good thing I reinforced my health bar, because I think I would have died. Stupid panthers, they're mean.
And there shouldn't be anything I need on the way. With perhaps the exceptions being a Carolina Parakeet, although I don't think they're this far south. Although, what is that? Blue Jay. Um, but yeah, ow. I don't think they're this far south. Um, and I do need a Western Gray Squirrel, I believe. And of course I need a Robin. Actually, I have seen Robins out here before. So just in case there's a Robin, let's get things ready here. So I would want a Lancaster, and then for this, I would want... Actually, no, I haven't seen a Robin out here. I saw... I think I saw something else. So I am was misremembering. I think it was when I was looking for Orioles, and I found an Oriole, and I just ended up missing it, and I was sad for a long time. But then I found another Oriole, and then I wasn't sad anymore. Unlike Robins, where I've only ever found one. Alright, what is that little bird I just saw fly up? Eurasian Tree Sparrow. Every little bird is piquing my interest, but I don't think they're here, so... I'm not gonna bother getting distracted by them. But what was that? Jackrabbit, huh. Looks slightly different. Okay, we are almost there now. And here we are. Okay, so I feel like we made pretty good progress here. Accomplished everything I wanted to accomplish. Um, let's take a look at our compendium. It is 409 of 553. So yeah, we got 10 more entries in it. Not bad. And of course, we got two challenges done, so... That was good progress as well. Alrighty, so we're all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.